Hello, and welcome back to Metroid Fusion. I'm Mr. Viper Fang, and last time, I got all the items in the game. And thought I screwed myself over when I accidentally went into a nav room when I was getting the remaining items. Turns out I w didn't really have anything to worry about. I was able to get in to Sector 2 and get what I needed, so yeah. We're doing just fine. Today, we're heading up to initiate the self-destruct and, more importantly, face the final boss. So yeah, let's uh, go on ahead and uh, initiate the self-destruct. And alter the uh, propulsion sequence so that the space station crashes into SR-388. And that's a good sign. I'm gonna have this ready for no particular reason. Oh, good. All right, we are actually facing the SAX. Be a little careful and just blast it with charge shots. We're able to damage it because of our beam upgrade and we'll still take damage, but uh, it's not nearly as bad as it could have been uh, if we didn't have the upgrades that we did. Oh, by the way, if you're trying to do this uh, without getting picking up uh, as many upgrades as possible. Try not to get hit by it because it does more than a tank of uh, more to, does more than a tank of uh, health and damage to you. There we go. Oh, good. Phase two. It turns into this thing. Jump there. There we go. Three charge shots and it dies. And then it turns into a core X that shoots a beam. There is one more upgrade for us to get. Well, oh, looks like the game was hiding out, hiding stuff from us. Or maybe the Federation was lying about the fact that we could get the ice beam. All right, let's go ahead and get our nice little uh, cool uh, blueberry prize. And I guess this one still has some sentience left. Well, I guess we're gonna deal with that uh, later? Not really much game left. So I guess we're really not getting it after all. Let's uh, go on ahead and do this. Propulsion sequence activated. Destination, planet SR-388. Orbit change implemented. Three minutes to impact. Let's go on ahead and get the hell out of here before we crash into the planet ourselves. All right, so we should be getting back to the ship. And I think I remember how to get back to the ship. I think uh, we're only given one path. Also, I want to do this. There we go. Map filled in. I feel better. Navigation room's disabled. And more importantly, the doors behind us are getting sealed off as we go through them. So really, there's no turning back after we're uh, once we're on our way. All right, that door sealed off, so that means we go this way. I like that the game just basically t uh, shows us where to go in case we're in a panic. Also, these platforms can be uh, broken through. Ooh, a lot of damage. This wasn't here before. Oh, this isn't good. Ah, oh, crap, where's the ship? Uh, oh, there might be another way out, let me go. Oh, God. It's immune to my beam and I'm down to one energy. Well, this is the way the world ends. At least the SAX is gonna die with it. Um, I beg your pardon? Oh, you stunned it for me. Uh, you're gonna let me absorb you this time? Okay. 
Oh god, don't stun us. Oh god. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Oh god. You're almost dead. Stop slashing at me at dang Omega Metroid. Why you double slash me? There we go. My beams are going through. Yep, the final upgrade and the one that we get at the end of the game is indeed the ice beam. So yeah, Federation was uh, lying about our ability to regain the to regain uh, the ice beam. We're perfectly fine uh, with it. Look, we're not cold at all. In fact, we can fire cold in two forms. All right, let's go on ahead and get out of here, please. Thank you. And goodbye, SAX. More importantly, goodbye to the, all those X parasites. There's probably more out there in the galaxy, but we took care of a major infestation before the Federation decided to screw itself over. That perfect military mind, the wisdom of Adam Malkovich continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I, I doubt they'll understand what we did. The danger we barely averted. The whole tribunals and investigations. The hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. The ship can only be started manually, yet before I face the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hand. Is it possible, Adam? Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just, just think about it. They lent me a hand. I saved them back on planet Zebus, and they saved me on the space station. I want to see them in the in the fourth Metroid Prime game. I really do. I want them to be some sort of like helpers. But yeah, that's gonna do it for Metroid Fusion. There's really no post-game bonus videos to speak of since I got 100% of the item completion and. Really, all that's uh, entailed in the post-game is collecting all the items you might have missed in your main playthrough, and just going around the space station taking out enemies. Really, there's not much of an end game. What you see is what you get. However, you can replay it over and over again to get uh, all of the ending uh, images. Uh, I got 100% of the item completion, and I think I might have finished uh, the game in just under four hours, according to the in-game clock, so... I honestly don't know which uh, which image I'm getting. However, the, uh, for the ones that I don't get, I'll just show those on uh, screen after we see the one that I get. But yeah, uh, Metroid Fusion is pretty fantastic. It's linear, but honestly, the way the game's set up, I honestly don't mind it. It's a pretty fun time, and it honestly could, can be completed in like an hour and a half, so if you're really good at the game, go on ahead and play it. It is it is really fun. It's uh, it's on the, the Wii U eShop. It's uh, available on the 3DS if you uh, have the Ambassador Certificate from buying uh, the 3DS within the first few months of its launch cycle. I... I'm one of those people, so I have it on the 3DS. And, of course, it's available as a car as the GBA cartridge. Probably the most accessible way to play it is on the Wii U, so... You can buy a refurbished one for cheap and uh, download it from the Wii U eShop. It's actually a pretty fun game. 
I highly recommend it. Alright, so what is our ending image? So I'm not 100% sure of what it is. Clear time? Four hours, three minutes. Your rate for collecting items is... There it is. This is the first time I've beaten it uh, at 100%. And that's a pretty good image. All right. I'll go on ahead and show the remaining images and the uh, requirements for getting each one. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for whatever I decide to play next. Take it easy. I'll see you later.